Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, we're here outside of this uh, Ford Transit Custom and yes we have our beautiful Milo dog here with us. Come in here and meet David and Bren. They built this Ford Custom or fitted it out. David's going to tell us the story. We're going to have a look at some features in it in a minute and it, I think it's just absolutely incredible what they've done. So uh, hi David and okay, Bren, how are you? Hello. How are you going? Pretty good. Tell us the story, David. What's the journey so far? So we bought this van new. It's a Ford Transit Custom Sport. And we had uh, Beachy Down a Drifter build the box and some of the other uh, interior stuff for us uh, on our spec. And then that got delivered uh, separately that we installed. Around that, your system of the uh, lithium iron batteries here. So we've got the equivalent of 600 amp hours of lithium iron power in here which you and your boys put together for us here uh, in the van separately once the box has arrived then i was able to put that install it inside the boxes and continue with the other trim and fit out in around the van so uh, the fit out finish was really really good and uh, you helped us as well with connecting all of the lights and all we had to do then was just install them very good I'll switch down now let's go to Bren. Bren, what's the nicest feature you, you like of what David's done here? Well, it's just, it has all the comforts of home uh, within the van. Just, you know, it's a smaller, tighter spot, but it's just, you can cook, the lighting systems, the water systems, everything's, you know. Comfortable. Righto, David. Now tell us about your fuel economy. So the van, when it was empty, would use about 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres. Now that's all fitted out with all of this, it uses about 9.8. Okay, so it's still under 10 litres per, yeah, yeah. per 100, which is a lot. And tell us about the lighting then. So uh, we're just going down to our uh, lighting here. So this is our uh, uh, smart switch that we see here. And then we've got our dimmable switch just below here. The dimmable switch below here is on the side steady light. So let me just turn this on for a minute. And yep, that's way, way too bright. But as I sort of dim this down, you'll see that I can dim that steady light down to virtually nothing. Now for camping, how valuable is that? Well, the dimmable lights are a real feature actually, Bruce, both inside and outside the car. We can see that we've got white lights inside here, so when we need to find stuff, it can be as bright as we need. But when we want that ambiance, the amber lighting, especially that it's dimmable, makes it really, really comfortable inside the van. So you can set that mood and get the lighting just as you need for evenings and of course, helps with the insects as well being amber. Yes. Outside the van, with those steady lights outside, they're so bright that it's great for setting up your camp, but then they're just too bright to, to sit around there. They're like a spotlight in your face. So be able to dim those is a real feature. Very good. Let's have a look at the kitchen at the back. And so uh, Beachy's done a uh, uh, very nice job here on the kitchen. So you can see that's a classic drifter kitchen there that slides out. Uh, we've got the safari double induction on here we've got that turned down a bit and uh he's got look at these little touches down here a little chopping board that slides out underneath that's the tap um the fridge just pulls out of here um hand wash down here and then that mattress folds forward for the bed and here's the victron screen in the back here that we've got and we've got all the, the lights on here now so we can actually uh, turn the uh, we can turn the white off and just have the amber here and this is actually our classic switch and so we've got the rear light on we can turn that on um, it's very nicely done so uh, I think that uh, the fit out you've done here David if I just keep coming back here uh, and the way that you can use it we forgot about this light up here which is excellent over the cooking but uh, the fit out that you've done here just fits so well, doesn't it, in terms of uh, getting as much utility out of the space? It was, um, Drift to do a great job, and uh, and with our own custom design, I, I'm really proud of what we've got to squeeze into the space in terms of the way it's used. One of the real big things is that we don't need to carry any gas. This vehicle, with the 400 watt solar panel on the roof, induction stove top, everything's powered by electrons, we never have to stop for gas refills. We don't have to worry about running out of gas. We can use all of these features anywhere that there's fire bands, or we can't take this vehicle to Fraser Island, but anywhere where you're not allowed to actually have a gas cooker, doesn't affect us. 
So we never have to worry about having power. It's great. Very good. Now there's one other thing that we've done here today. This is actually a, a world first. We've got a Scotty in under the seat here. So tucked under here, uh, you can see we've got a Scotty under there and we've loaded our energy management feature on and put our CAN bus trigger in here. And then the way we've got this set at the moment, and uh, uh, David's gonna help us and start the, start the engine, oh, is yeah. that uh, when it's in idle mode, it doesn't take any power from the alternator at all. In fact, it puts power back into the starter battery from the roof. So let's just start up, David. So you can see here now we're idling. Uh, this bottom number here, this DC power number is a, a very small number. Um, if I look on my meter here, we're actually uh, putting back into the starter battery a very small amount uh, that's uh, appearing on the bottom here. And then once Dave Tate goes up over a thousand RPM, we start pulling power out of the alternator. So take it up, Dave. Yep. Engine's over a thousand RPM. Below a thousand RPM, it won't pull the power out. So that little feature here we just added in today. Thanks, Dave. So now that we've turned everything off here, you can see the power going back in. It's a positive number going back into the battery. So, uh, Dave, what do you think about the power system in this? Yeah, mate, it's just brilliant. And I'm not a very technical guy, and I was able to fit all this out with your help without any of the knowledge of it. When we run the system as well, I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to do any switching. I just have to turn the car on, and it's all automatic. Everything that you've programmed in here manages all the electricity brilliantly. And with the car being Euro 6 compliant, all of your systems work into that so that it works in harmony with the vehicle and I just think that's brilliant. Very good. And you've had no issue there with the vehicle and that's, uh, you're getting excellent fuel consumption and uh, what do you think, Dave? I How just love that? It, mate. How good is that? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>